Small businesses are set to receive fiscal support from the federal government thanks to a $2 trillion stimulus package signed into law by the president last week. This means the Small Business Administration, though, will need to process a massive influx of loan requests. I do want to now bring in Hector Barreto, former Small Business Administrator under President George W. Bush, to talk more about that surge. Hi, Hector. Thanks for coming on the show today. Thanks, Greta. Thanks for having me. You were the Small Business Administrator during catastrophes like 9-11 and Hurricane Katrina. How does this current situation compare to those disasters? Well, it's really unprecedented. You know, I think we've spoken before, you know, Katrina was the largest disaster in U.S. history. And I remember getting four years worth of applications in one month. We're going to get more this time because this is really a nationwide disaster, an economic uh, disaster, if you will. So there are a lot of small businesses out there that are looking for information and how they get access to these important resources that were recently approved by Congress and signed into law by the president. The unprecedented surge in unemployment claims specifically last week has revealed several holes in the system and several flaws. What changes can be made to ensure a smoother process as more applications are submitted and how can the private sector offer some support to the government in this time? Well, all those things are happening, Greta. You know, the SBA has been doing a great job under very trying circumstances. You know, uh, I was on a, a call with the SBA administrator last week where they've hired up a thousand more employees and they're going to continue hiring employees and also using resource partners and private sector companies. They've made major improvements on the website. They're asking for less documentation, which is speeding up the process. So we're at the front end of this, and obviously there's more programs that will be announced later on this week. For example, the uh, payroll protection uh, program, which uh, is gonna be uh, conducted by the banks with treasury guidance. That guidance is imminent, so folks will be able to go to their local bank or lender or an FDIC company, even a, a, a credit union, and be able to apply for these loans, which will convert to grants after uh, you know the money is gotten, as long as people bring back those employees or keep them on the payroll, uh, that's gonna be very important. You're gonna have other folks that are gonna go straight to the sba.gov backslash disaster website to apply for the disaster loans. Um, and those can be loans up to $2 million, depending on the size of the business and you know what their needs are. And then you're gonna have conventional SBA loans as well. So it is very conceivable that a small business in the end, maybe utilizing all of those tools. And on top of that, there's a $10,000 grant, which you will have an option to apply for. And that grant, obviously, whether you get the loan or not, uh, will be yours to, to keep. So a lot of uh, tools in the toolkit, so to speak. A lot of guidance is gonna be out this week. And we're gonna try to help every small business that needs that assistance to get it. But the first stop is really the SBA, whether you go to the sba.gov website or contact your local district office or resource partner. Uh, Hector, many small business owners are considered self-employed and would not have previously qualified for unemployment benefits. What kind of changes were made in this aid package to cover those who were not tr traditionally covered under unemployment insurance? Right, and there's been a lot of questions on that. And so they'll be able to apply as well. Uh, you know, the size standard really is 500 and less employees. So if you're a company, maybe you're uh, an independent contractor or a consultant, you'll be able to apply for these uh, benefits as well. And again, once the final rules are out, and they've been working furiously to finalize those. As you know, uh, the president signed that into law on Friday. They were working all weekend long, both the SBA and the Treasury Department, to provide that guidance. And that guidance is coming out as we, as we speak. So I think a lot more information will be available, and I think it's incumbent upon every small business to really educate yourself and inform yourself. And there's a lot of information out there, so there can be an analysis paralysis. Make sure you're going to a trusted advisor, somebody that works with the SBA, possibly your lender, or one of those SBA offices or resource partners like the Small Business Development Centers and the SCORE counselors. They're uh, ideal sources for up-to-date information and they can help you navigate the process. All right, Hector Barreto, the former Small Business Administrator under President George W. Bush, joining us to talk about that aid package specifically for small businesses here in the U.S. as uh, the economy continues to suffer amid the coronavirus outbreak. Thanks so much for coming on the show today, Hector. Thank you, Greta. Want to see more videos like this? 
Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.